Shawnee is here from the Midlands Astronomy Club. What is in store? Today is the peak of the annual Geminids meteor shower. Now, meteor showers, they happen throughout the year. They get their name from the constellation that they appear to radiate from. So tonight, when you're looking towards the east and north, you're going to look for the constellation of Gemini. It's kind of to the right of Orion, if you could pick out Orion with its three main mm. belt stars. That's and a good constellation. I like Gemini. You like it? You're a Gemini yourself, yes, then, are you? Yes, yes. <laughs> 19th of June. Okay, so, well, let's keep to the science here for the moment. We won't be feeding into it your ego with the, the stars. Split personality Different kind of stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I know. Uh, but yes, uh, there is an old comet. It's now an asteroid called Phaeton that goes around the sun in a very short orbit. It's not posing a risk to Earth, but it does cross our path now and again. And as it does so, it does leave a little bit of trailing dust behind it. And as Earth, in its orbit around the sun, slams into this trail, we get an increase of meteors or shooting stars. And today is such a peak. Uh, it'll appear to fall from the constellation of Gemini. They'll be very fast, very white, kind of bluish white in colour. And given that we've got clear skies, there's an opportunity to perhaps, if you're able to count them, get over 100 to 120 meteors per hour overnight. Wow. Yes. So very with, impressive. With a Mark 1 eyeball? Mark 1 eyeball. You do not need a telescope. You can use your camera phone or another camera if you want to try and take some long exposure shots and capture these trails going across your uh, your images and that. Otherwise, it's just one of those things where really wrap up warm, take some cocoa or hot whiskey or whatever your tipple of choice is, get a nice comfy chair, wrap the blanket around the legs, take the kids out because it's dark, nice and early. There's no moon until after 11 uh, p.m. or so. It begins to rise around 10.30. So we're, we've got unobstructed views of this meteor shower tonight. Well, that's a good option because unfortunately other things are going by the wayside. For instance, we're told that the well in moat, owing to the current conditions tomorrow night's dancing has been cancelled. I am also reliably informed that if you are a fan of bingo in moat community hall, it has been cancelled today due to adverse weather conditions. And Shawnee, as you may detect in the accent, he's from Canada. Yes, so I this have seen what like snowy summer. weather can be. This is, a, th- yeah, this is a picnic compared to what I've had to live with when I was a kid over in Canada. I remember in January 85 being snowed in for nearly two weeks. No school, no work. My dad couldn't get to work. You know, snow plows every day, shoveling snow, throwing it into your front garden, and you were like basically blocked in with eight foot mounds of this, you know, and by the time it begins to melt, it's all dirty and brown and slush everywhere. And then, you know, you'd be like, looking I can forward live with to dirty the... and brown is the yellow <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> But you know what? I do remember, you know, when it came to April, we got really, really good April thunderstorm showers. So that was the change. But yeah, white Christmases almost every year in Canada. I remember it well. What part of the country? Hamilton, Ontario. Hamilton is um, kind of halfway between Toronto and Niagara Falls, if you could Mm. picture that on the map along Lake Ontario. We forget how vast Canada is. So where where that location is quite habitable, but you head north. Yeah, up to the Northern Territories, yeah. Edmonton, Alberta, you Permanent know, the Yukon Territories. Yeah, it's it's a like Canada only has a population I think of less than sixty million people, and it's the second largest land mass in the world. So, it's very sparsely populated. The further north you go. Well, Shawnee, as always, thank you very much. Uh, Midlands Astronomy Club, look them up online for not just information about the Geminids, but all the ongoing events that may be of interest while the skies are clear. Thank Thank you you very much.